Why We Feel the Science of Human Emotions by Victor S. Johnston The human brain is the most intricate and complex entity on our planet, and perhaps the most complicated device in the entire universe. There is absolutely nothing that we can see, think, feel or know that does not depend on the workings of this tangled web of nerve cells. It is involved in every aspect of our daily lives. It defines who we are and it dictates the way we view the world around us. But few of us realize that our brain creates what is, in effect, a virtual reality. This idea is so contrary to our common sense that few rational people would consider such a proposition to be an important scientific insight that is essential for understanding the human nature, but it is. We believe that we live in a world that is full of sounds and colors and smells and tastes, because this is what we experience every day of our lives, and there appears to be no reason for thinking otherwise. In Why We Feel, I propose that we must abandon this common sense view of reality and eventually accept the fact that our conscious experiences depend on the nature of our evolved neural processes, and not the nature of the events in the world that activate those processes. That is, although the external environment is teeming with electromagnetic radiation and air pressure waves, without consciousness it is both totally black and utterly silent. Conscious experiences, such as our sensations and feelings, are nothing more than evolved illusions generated within biological brains. The human brain did not evolve to accurately represent the world around us. It evolved only to enhance the survival of our genes. This Darwinian insight has profound implications for understanding every aspect of human nature. Many simple questions acquire a whole new meaning when viewed from this novel perspective. Do rotten eggs really smell bad? Are some people beautiful? Is it simply a fortunate accident that waste products like our feces and urine smell and taste unpleasant? Is tissue damage really painful? In Why We Feel, I argue that such sensory feelings are not properties of molecules or events in the external world. They are the evolved adaptive illusions of a conscious mind. Similar questions can be asked of more complex emotions. Do men and women experience the same feelings? Is premenstrual depression related to reproductive failure? Why do orgasms feel so good? Why do we have so many different feelings like love, pride, fear and sadness? All such feelings are the evolved omens of our reproductive success that amplify the consequences of physical and social events that have, or had, some bearing on our gene survival. I explore how this relationship came about, how it is maintained throughout our lives, and the important consequences of this arrangement for how we learn, reason, and understand the world around us. Why We Feel is an adventure story about the evolution of human feelings, and how they have become woven into the fabric of our brain. It is a story about consciousness, emotions, free will, learning, memory, reasoning, ethics, aesthetics, and the enormous creative potential that has been bestowed upon us by our ancestral history. I hope that you enjoyed the journey.